Hey friends, Rufus from Kuwait and Farms here and wanted to show you a little project that we're going to work on this spring. We're hoping to grow ginger and turmeric. And I wanted to just go through with you the process that I'm going to take to grow this uh, ginger. So I've got a, and turmeric, and I've got a couple of things to uh, start off with. I've got my greenhouse covering for uh, this tray. I've opted to get the trays without holes in the bottom so that I can keep it nice and moist and I don't have to worry about it soaking through uh, onto my table since I'm going to have this in, inside. So beyond, beside the tray I've got my bag of potting mix here and I'm just using an organic uh, potting mix I get from a local store pre-mixed, ready to go. As far as the seed goes, I bought this just right off the shelf at uh, Barocco Food Co-op. So I just got this, uh, basically the stuff that you eat. Um, I just bought it from the shelves. And uh, it's certified organic seed, or certified organic ginger. And I soaked it overnight. <clears throat> so as you can see, there's a, a bud already starting to form. Um, all these little eyes, kind of like the eyes of potatoes, right? Where you have, um, see this little spot there, and there's a spot there, a bunch more spots there that are going to potentially sprout plants. This whole root is where the uh, plant is going to sprout from. And so this is going to be going in the soil. So first step I need to do uh, today is I need to get my soil wet, so I'm gonna do that. For that process, I got a big tub here and I'm just gonna dump the soil into it. Normally I'd be doing this outside in my greenhouse, but because ginger and turmeric are such warm, loving, plants and we're in a cold northern environment we figured it would be better to just do it in the house and be able to maintain our temperatures a little bit better we're in southwestern wisconsin we're in zone five so this ginger is going to spend its life indoors uh in our both in our house for now and then later on it'll be planted into one of our greenhouses so This is 32 quarts worth of potting mix. Not sure, you know, if I'll need this whole amount, but better to have more than not enough. Let's say about two gallons of water I've just mixed in with those 32 quarts. And we're starting to get there. I definitely want to have it nice and moist according to the um, other folks I've watched who seem to be doing this. Every young kid's Dream job, playing the dirt. Ooh, it smells really good. Hmm, I wish you could smell this. Okay, that's good. I like that mixture. It's got a nice, uh, you can tell it's very, very moist. All right, so first things first, we're gonna fill our tray here. Just a handful of it. Let's get a nice layer. A couple inches thick, maybe level it out from there then we're just gonna go ahead and just put these little root pieces in i've been breaking up the uh, bigger ones into smaller pieces like this big piece you can break it up a bunch of times that helps you just spread it out a little bit more and i'm kind of just giving it a light press into the soil See all those different eyes? Yeah, those are all potential plants in the future. I think there's about two pounds of seed here, or ginger root. Okay, so I've just kind of tried to space them evenly. You know, it doesn't have to be uh, precise. You're just trying to fill up the tray. So now after I've got it spread out, I'm just gonna give it a nice, nice thin layer of potting soil on the top 
Okay, the final step in the uh, process for planting our ginger is gonna be to cover it uh, with this greenhouse structure. Ginger and turmeric are both tropical plants, so they really like it warm. And so we're gonna just set this baby uh, up in the sunshine on the table and we're gonna let it just heat up in there. Uh, once you get her planted, it's just uh, wait and see. So we'll uh, check in with you again in a couple weeks to see how all our project is moving along. All right, well, thank you to all five of you that made it to the end of the video. We sure do appreciate you checking out all the fun farm activities, homesteading things that we're doing here on the farm. If you're interested in the Farm CSA program, and you live within Southwest Wisconsin or Madison, Wisconsin area, you can click on the link below in the description and that'll take you to our CSA sign up page. Also, if you wanna visit the farm, we've got all kinds of workshops and events happening throughout the summer months. Maple syrup is our first one. We'll be hosting a maple syrup workshop in March. Uh, you can also check out those classes in the link below in the description as well. Subscribe, hit the like button. Hope you have a wonderful day. Lots more ginger videos to come as we progress through the season as well as all kinds of other fun things that we're doing up here on the homestead. So join us. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day.